What's up you guys, it's Jason from RPMSXS.com and today we're going to be checking out the new Pro-R Big Core header. So this is it. This is just our install video. If you want to get the in-depth info on this header, it's on our YouTube channel and our products page. Um, but we've slightly increased the size of all these Equalex headers. We've drastically reduced the 2 to 1 collector and we've enlarged the manifold port. Um, it's all TIG welded 304 stainless. You got an extra O2 bung. It fits the factory replacement, meaning it starts and ends in the factory location so you can run a stock muffler or any muffler that uses the stock uh, header location. We are going to be using the optional new gaskets. You can select these on checkout. And this is a pretty quick, easy, straightforward install, like a 14 mil socket, 22 millimeter wrench, 6 mil allens for all of these and 10 mils to your factory heat shield. We reuse the factory heat shield. And um, yeah, it's, a, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. So we include new hardware and you get some Loctite with it for your hardware. Let's get right to it. First thing we're gonna do is remove the factory heat shield, remove the O2 bung and start to loosen these 14s up and we'll move on to the six mil Allens across the header manifold. I like to get this one loose and just barely leave it in there. That way when it's time to take it off, it's just a little hand tight. Kind of helps hold it in place. All right, for the manifold, I like to make it quick. I kind of have a variety of different six mils. We've got a six mil wobbler ball end, a stubby, and a regular old school style six mil Allen. And uh, you could do it with just basic hand tools, but we're gonna try to make it quick with this stuff. The ball end wobbler definitely helps. I like to get them loose and then go back to the ball end to take them out of there. So at this time I've broken all of the six mil allens loose and you can take them out by hand, leave one of them tight. That way it's kind of supporting the whole head pipe. I like to leave one of the top middle ones uh, snug. And we kind of just go from here, taking these uh, six mil allens out one by one. At this point, the only thing holding the exhaust on is going to be this 14 mil and really just the gasket itself. We'll take this 14 mil off and we'll kind of just break it loose. This is why it's so important to replace the gasket is that the material really just comes off. All right guys, so a rundown on these gaskets is that they're kind of not a reusable gasket. I know everyone wants to try it and risk it. It's not worth the like $40 that we charge for gaskets. And this is why you can see right here, this one, it's never gonna come off of here clean. Like even if you had a razor blade, like it just, they come off in pieces. So like, don't even waste your time. You're gonna need a gasket when you do this head pipe. This machine has less than hundred miles on it. The exhaust donut, this one's actually been replaced with ours already. It doesn't matter if it's ours or the OEM one. They're going to stay stuck to the head pipe. The only way to get it off is a flathead. It's going to kind of just disintegrate just like this one did. This is an OEM one. Um, so yeah, replace both your gaskets. It's definitely well worth it. It's worth the head, like not worrying about the headache. Uh, when your head pipe shows up, you have everything apart and starts to do this. You're going to be like, nah, I just wish I would have ordered gaskets. So uh, this time I'm going to jump up. I'm going to put Loctite on all of the bolts and get it started on that, you know, in that sense. And then we will start mocking this head pipe up to the uh, block and muffler. I'm going to kind of hang the header up there. We're going to get it somewhat connected to the muffler. 
And then from there, we can kind of finagle. We just got to get one bolt in through the manifold, and then from there, it's pretty easy. All right, real quick, something I like to do is get a razor blade, a fresh one, scrape any excess gasket material off the motor, and uh, get ready for the new manifold gasket to go on. All right, the reason it's so important to use our hardware is that our exhaust flange, our manifold flange, is actually like about three, four millimeters thicker than the factory one. Once you've got like one or two bolts started, like I said, make sure you leave the muffler area loose and then you can kind of shake all this hardware in. Just get it, you know, shake it in as you need it. Once you get them all started, you can go back to your ball end and then you can start very lightly tapping them in. You want to kind of use the uh, star, the zigzag motion when tightening all of these. All right, so we're going to zigzag across these bolts, tightening them up. We do have a grade 8 hardware that's included. So we'll go through, snug these up, torque them down, and then from there we'll move on to the heat shield install. All right, we got the 6 mil Allens all tightened and torqued on the manifold. We're going to move on to the 14 mil spring-loaded bolts on the muffler, and we'll come and hit these O2 sensors. Right, we're going to spin the O2 sensor in. Since it's kind of sitting like this, I didn't unplug. I like to kind of rewind it before I spin it in. And then we have to make sure that you, re -tight that you tighten your unused O2 bung, assuming you're not using it. I already put Loctite on these heat shield bolts, so it's time to move up to those. The longer bolts are going to go here in the back. shorter bolts against the manifold. All right, guys, that completes the installation of the RPM Big Core head pipe. We're going to wipe down and get all of our residual, residual hand grease and everything off of this head pipe, let it fire up. You're gonna get some normal smoking at startup. This is all stainless steel, so it'll blue in color with time. Uh, you wanna make sure you get everything nice and clean, and then uh, you're ready to rip. If you're looking for a muffler, we've got a full line of chambered, pass-through, baffled mufflers. We've got quiet cores for all of our mufflers. Um, so we got a pretty good muffler selection for these as well. You can see this head pipe hugs the frame a lot tighter. Gives you a lot more clearance in between here. And looks a million times better. That's it. If you want to pick one of these up, you can pick it up at any of our dealers or rpmsxs.com.